Hello there Aquarius couples and welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela and this reading is going to be for the Aquarius couples, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for the second half of September 2019. I hope that all is well with you guys. Aquarius. Okay. Warm welcome to those of you who are brand new to my channel and a warm welcome back to those of you who are brand new. Let's get right into your message. Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for the Aquarius couples. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the second half of September. Can Aquarius expect a love lies for the second half of September? Keep in mind, my meet and greet is September 21st. For those of you who are interested, please RSVP on my website. The event is two hours, and yes, like I said, you will need to RSVP. Um, and um, my sale... My $50 sale on 30-minute readings is still ongoing. I've extended it until the 21st of September. And um, with regard to the reading, this is a general reading, so everything here may not apply to you. Check out the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs if you find that it doesn't resonate. And know that the message here can go vice versa. Let's get into it. Aquarius. I feel some of you Aquarians could be feeling discouraged right now. Um... I'm not sure about what yet, but I see sadness, maybe over the loss of a loved one. Maybe someone passed away, maybe the anniversary of someone's passing may be coming up, birthday of someone's passing may be coming up. Um, I see that you're you are mastering something, and I feel like this is more so self-mastery. could also have something to do with a career choice. Um, you could be mastering, I don't know, maybe you're mastering something in your relationship. Um, you could be thinking about going back to school, okay? Personal development. In other words, I feel like you're investing in yourself. I feel like home is going to be very significant for you guys. And uh, maybe you're, re you're traveling. You could be returning to the place that you originate from. Someone could be returning home. Someone could be leaving the home. I do see victory coming in for you, especially those of you who may be facing some type of a court decision or some type of a decision in general in your life. <sighs> However, I do feel uh, aqua is that you might be feeling frustrated or blocked in your life right now. Um, you might be feeling concerned with some area in your life. There may be some place in your life where you may need to let go of these negative emotions such as anger, guilt, shame, jealousy, or fear. Because those could definitely be holding you back. Um, I'm seeing clothes. Maybe you're concerned about your appearance. You could be traveling somewhere, maybe. I don't know, but I feel like clothes cover up an aspect of yourself. Maybe you try to cover something up about yourself. Um, you're preoccupied about something. And I'm seeing, yeah, departed loved ones or the afterlife. I do feel that your spirit guides or your ancestors or like I said, your deceased ones are reaching out to you, aquas, whether you realize it or not. They could visit you in a dream. They could visit you in your waking time. It just depends on how tuned in you are and how activated you are. Okay. I do see that you're being chased. <laughs> um, oh, okay, baby. You're trying to avoid someone or something in your life. And then I'm also seeing flowers. So I feel like this is a symbol of beauty, kindness, love, and joy. Okay, so this is interesting. The Spirit is saying that it's time for balance in your life that it's going to be necessary for you to find balance in your life, Aquas, because I feel like things could definitely be off balance, especially with work. You may be working more than usual. Some of you, um, you're, at a, you're feeling distant from your partner right now. Definitely feel that some of you are alchemists, or if not, then I feel that you're, you are working to manifest something specific in your life. check into this. Let's see what's going on. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. 
for an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn could be significant to your situation. Yeah, Aquas, I feel like you're a workaholic these days. Okay. And I do feel that insecurity and sadness may have crept up on you for one reason or another. Because the overall energy of your reading is barriers. Okay. So... I was saying that there may be there's something that may be blocking you or frustrating you in your everyday life. So this could be people external to you creating some type of a barrier. It could be people here that are very envious of you or what it is that you bring to the table, Aquarius. This could also be you creating barriers for yourself. There could be barriers within your relationship. So let's take a look at what's really going on. Aquas, what are you feeling discouraged about? It's not like Aquarius to be discouraged about gossip. Although there is chatter going on in the background, Aqua. There's trust issues that you and your partner may still be trying to get over. That could be a barrier in your relationship. I do see that, Aquas, maybe you feel taken for granted by your partner. Um, maybe you feel that they don't see your worth. Oh, wow. First cup. I feel that there could be someone from the past that's involved. The emotional ties are there. It's like you definitely love one another. The love is no doubt there. Okay. Okay, but somebody has a roaming eye. Somebody's a player. Wow. They cheated. There's definitely... Okay, so what's crossing the situation is a temptress. Someone's, someone feels tempted or is being seduced. There's some type of temptation going on within the connection. This could be the very person that's trying to create barriers and spreading gossip. And it could be an ex. So, maybe you feel that your partner has been very distant from you lately, emotionally, right? They've been very cold. You may have your eye on them, or vice versa. Somebody has their eye on somebody, okay? It's definitely three people in this relationship. I feel at some point things were going very well, okay? But I feel like things came to a halt. A standstill. Now there's coldness. Where there was once warmth and happiness, like I said, coldness now. Okay, so yeah. Speaking of coldness, someone feels left out in the cold. I feel that someone, Aqua, in your situation, I feel I'm, I'm just going to relate this to you at first because, but just know that it can go vice versa. Uh, this person may have ghosted you in the past. <laughs> ghosted. We're talking about deceased people. Also, hmm, that was an interesting play on words, um, and then that wasn't even intentional, but my spirit guides do cer certain things like that. So, yeah, again, deceased people, like I said, depends on how tuned in you in, how tuned in you are, okay? Keep in mind, you may see or hear from your deceased loved ones, um, because... I, We'll get into that. I, I honestly feel like you guys have some type of a gift, okay, to see into the spirit world. Okay, I'm saying flying without wings. So perhaps you may be astral traveling. Okay, but this is also a dream state. I do feel that, that some of you, either there's a message that your deceased loved one is wanting to give to you. Okay, some of you could be going to a psychic medium to get to obtain some type of a message or you are psychic mediums maybe that's something that you're mastering mediumship okay and spirit is saying to get balanced so that you can clearly hear from your third and your crown chakra okay let's get back to relationship all right so i'm seeing three people in the relationship third party there's obviously a love triangle here. Someone from the past and also you. They left you for someone else in the past. They're at a crossroads having to make a decision. And right now, Aqua, 
I mean, you're no fool. I feel like this is something that happened before. I feel like there was a repetitive cycle of this before. And I'm saying that right now, at this point, you're saying, why even bother opening up? Okay. And whatever this conflict was about, I do feel that there's a potential here for you to lay some type of conflict to rest. Um, okay, I'm, th I'm seeing you're looking at the future. What What is this? Are you wondering what the future holds? What is this about? I'm looking for a sign. You're at a crossroads. You're looking for a sign. It looks like you're, you're, someone here is needing to make a decision. A, a determination, a decision about this relationship and who they're going to be with. So someone here is looking for a sign. I feel like the signs are all around you and someone here is saying, absolutely not, I'm done. All right. <laughs> yeah, somebody's done. They were looking for a sign that someone was cheating. And they found the evidence that they needed to, in order to make a decision. Okay, I was hearing determination. So that's a court decision. Someone, okay, someone here is also waiting for a court decision. Okay, some of you could be getting divorced possibly. Somebody's saying, no, I'm done. I'm letting go. Because I'm saying, yeah, maybe there's no communication. Someone isn't completely saying what it is that they want. Okay, because I'm saying at the bottom, it's up to you. So I feel, Aqua, that you already knew about the cheating. You may even know exactly who it is. And maybe you, you gave the decision, you put the ball in their court, and you said, okay, you make the decision. And now, okay, there's now you're putting up barriers, and you're saying, if you can't make a decision, it shouldn't be that dang hard. Who did I get this for? I think I got it for Leo or Scorpio. Maybe Capricorn. I think it was Capricorn. You're saying if, if this, it shouldn't be that difficult to make a decision. So you're saying then I'm gonna the, the ball is in my court, right? I've given you your chance to figure it out, to settle it. And yeah, Aquas, I feel that you're definitely standing your ground. You're definitely putting your foot down with the situation that involves three people and you're saying i'm not going to be a part of this anymore the heartbreak the frustration you're done that's what we were that's what i was saying so you're having some type of frustration in your everyday life right now you're trying to avoid someone So what is this about the future? Yeah, I think you're wondering what the future holds, but why? If you're putting your foot down and making a decision, okay, somebody's watching somebody on social media. It could be the third party, okay? Someone is very, someone's, that could be what the gossip is about. Someone is overly curious of, okay, some of you could work. Maybe you may have an online business, or maybe you had... I don't know if somebody's checking out your profile online, trying to see if you're happy with this person. This person is still around. Yeah. You're wondering what the future holds, and you're feeling stuck. It's like you don't know what the future holds. Okay, but I feel that you are... Who is this? There's a fire sign here. This is possibly a Leo or a Sagittarius. Because I have a card here talking about balance, so that's Sag all day. So I'm feeling that it could be a Leo or a Sagittarius that's in the picture um, that you're dealing with, Aquarius. Yeah, okay. So this might be the third person, because I see you standing your ground against the Queen of Wands. Okay, it's in order to protect your relationship. Someone here is waiting waiting for a decision. I'm seeing confusion, secrecy, lies, deception. Within a marriage. Yeah, someone's saying, I'm done here. I'm walking away from this. But someone here is wondering if they're making the right decision. But how are you not? Because we got the Seven of Swords. Okay. I feel like someone here 
is on their high horse or this is how you see them. They definitely like the attention of the opposite sex. Somebody isn't in the public eye here because I see a lot of watchers, onlookers. And um, somebody knows about the deception. That someone's trying to break up the situation. And I feel Aquarius, you're saying, I don't want to work on it anymore. It's like you're losing hope in the situation. And, yep, yeah, I feel like someone's leaving. Some of you could also be going on a road trip. Okay? Some of you could be looking for another job. But I'm feeling that, that somebody is maybe has an online dating profile. And um, but something here is definitely happening online. They could be talking to someone online, talking to several people it may be more than a third party situation here's temperance so here's the sagittarius okay this literally says that someone could be your partner aquarius or this is you communicating with someone online somebody's going to get caught because somebody's not as slick as they think they are Like someone here is very arrogant with it kind of moving on quietly so somebody that might have secret plans to move on with someone or move in with someone to leave a situation okay someone may be leaving secretly to go and be with someone else because someone is saying no i'm done i'm letting go whether this is you or them aqua but somebody has to say something because someone here might be feeling confused some of, I feel Aquarius, you already know that this person has a lot of tricks up their sleeve. You already know. Why? Okay, so we already have It's up to you. We already talked about that. But yeah, you're trying to get more information. I guess before you bust them for lying or for cheating. See that? Yeah, somebody is thinking that the grass is greener elsewhere. Mm. Okay. Now, some of you, but let's let's relate this to career. I feel that some of you are, are looking for some type of balance in your life. Okay, I'm saying a need for spiritual cleanse. I'm just saying a need for balance in your life. This includes mind, body, and spirit. Balance. Balancing your time, balancing your emotions, balancing your 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 chakras. Okay, balancing your chakras could be but it's very necessary for you guys some of you could definitely work in this in the realm of spirituality um you could be tarot card readers um we talked about alchemy you could be witches of some sort possibly okay um or we said psychic mediums either way you get my drift you may do something spiritual for a living some of you and um some of you may be looking into something, trying to get more information about maybe enhancing your skill or ability with something. Or some of you may be looking to do something completely altogether different. Um, you may discover something online or you may be looking online for another job. Okay. I'm saying raise a promotion for you guys. Maybe some type of public recognition that you might be getting. But I see someone here who is salty about this. About the fact that you might be getting more attention. I'm, I'm hearing like Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Have you ever seen that episode of Brady Bunch? I don't know why that popped into my head. But that's the visual that they gave me. Like somebody's kicking and stomping because, they're, because of some type of jealousy. See that? Somebody's like, where's my reward? Where's my recognition? What about me? Okay. Are you feeling stuck? Why are you feeling stuck? Some of you are stuck about uh, on whether or not to walk away from what it is that you currently do. Because like I said, you're looking for other things or looking into something else. You could be feeling very distracted or overwhelmed by something. Okay, You might have uh, too much on your plate, possibly aqua but i do see a message coming in and i feel that whatever this message is about it could definitely be a message from the universe it could be a message from the spirit world either way someone or something is trying to communicate with you to help you make a decision if this isn't you that needs to make a decision then it's your partner or whomever this is that you're relating this reading to 
someone here has been very unfair to you or at least this is how you feel and at this point aqua is you feeling like it's time to just leave the situation to go towards something that makes you happy okay for some of you this might just be something as simple as a change of scenery it may not have anything to do with work maybe like i said you're needing you have there's a need for balance okay but some of you are saying no the situation is not working or for others of you there may be a period of time where you do walk away and you're not working because you're leaving a situation without really having the clarity that you need this could just be something that you're thinking about um subconsciously i feel like there's something going on here also let's see what this is about so maybe some fears that you're entertaining fear of the unknown yeah fear that the money isn't going to be there if you leave what it is that you you're currently doing and go into something else you're done it's like you just want to up and leave maybe be, i don't know but this isn't like aquarius to give in to gossip but yeah i'm seeing you're waiting okay you could be investing you're making a decision to invest in something someone or a business okay I do feel that there is some type of offer coming to you and I do feel that this offer is divinely guided okay but I do feel that you're gonna have to leave a situation here oh, I've got the devil in reverse like I said someone's salty they're not happy about what it is that you bring to the table I definitely feel, Aqua, that the opportunity is knocking and this is why you're leaving. Okay, I feel like you, like I said, did I say it? I see you strategizing on something. Laying out a strategy and then leaving the situation. Yeah, because you're saying there's something better. Yeah. And as a result, I see big happy changes ahead of you. Yeah, because Aquas, I see that you will eventually possibly choose a new direction with regard to your career. You may get communication from someone that may bring a balanced perspective about things. It may bring some type of a shift. You may find out something online or you may get a message from the universe, as I stated, or from a deceased loved one in the astral realm. And I feel that you're going to go for it. Okay. But you, yeah, I definitely feel that you hear or see spirits. You're channeling. Some of you could be going to, I don't know, a seance maybe? Let's take a look at the energy of your cross watcher. Barriers. We're talking about barriers. Some of you could be blocking out messages from the other side. Right? Because you're so distracted, overwhelmed by your circumstance that you're not really tuned in, Aquas, your cross watcher may have had someone in their life that passed away. And maybe they're dealing with that. And maybe they're feeling hurt at this time. They might be feeling, have certain vulnerabilities or situations that they're dealing with of their own right now they may have a lot on their plate cross watcher your cross watcher might be feeling that this situation is just unlikely to really work out and they may be wanting to choose a new direction as well for others of you with your career you're ready to choose it i think i said that already choosing a new direction okay And maybe they have plans for later on, okay, to maybe leave. I don't know, that's interesting. Yeah, they could be asking for advice from other people. Okay, romance. What is the romance about, though? Let's see. Okay, I'm saying marriage. So this could be someone that you're married to. If not, then I feel like you guys share a home together, possibly. Maybe you guys live together. Maybe you're in business together. Okay, yeah. Your cross watcher is definitely distracted. They're out doing their own thing. 
They may even be entertaining leaving the situation. Maybe they left before. Okay, yeah. Your cross watcher is at the point of, they're on the brink of leaving because they feel like there's no way that the two of you can really have a real reconciliation. They feel like you're always guarded, that you're always defensive. See, they feel like you're, you're retreating or they're retreating. Okay, they love you but they feel like there's distance between the two of you. Let's see. Communication is what I feel is the barrier. I feel like this is the real barrier between the two of you. Communicating, because I'm saying express your love. Okay. But see, there's deception. What's going on here? Unrequited love. Someone is leaving, possibly saying, you know what, this isn't going to work out. Maybe they feel that they're lying to themselves. Maybe they're lying to a third party. Let's see. Someone here is feeling emotionally drained, maybe even financially drained. And yeah, your cross watcher could also be a workaholic. Spending a lot of time at work to try to avoid the situation here. Um, but I see some of you may have a family with this person. Yes, I see a marriage. If not a marriage, then a long-standing commitment that you may have had with this person. This person definitely has walls, barriers, and um, they're in love, but they're unhappy. In love with who, though? Are they in love with you or are they in love with the cross-watcher? Probably someone else because I'm seeing Eight of Cups, they're leaving. Someone here is leaving a situation. Maybe with for someone that they have children with. Okay, yeah, somebody's leaving. Or they're thinking about leaving the situation. Possibly to be with someone else and start over elsewhere. Okay, someone feels that the passion is gone, possibly. And yeah, there's frustration here. Your cross watcher could also be worried about money. Maybe this is why they're spending a lot of time at work, to try to stabilize their financial situation. But yeah, let's see. They might be spending a lot of time at work to mask the fact that um, they're really with somebody else. They might say that they're at work, but they're really with someone else. Yeah, see, they're not in this for the right reason. Someone hasn't moved on from someone from the past, possibly. They may have children with this person. They may be going to tarot, possibly, to get some answers, but I'm saying heartbreak. Okay. Okay. So aquas, I'm not sure what's going on. <sighs> the two of you are under the same roof that I'm feeling like your partner may be thinking of leaving to be with someone else. Now, if you're not under the same roof and they're with the third person, I feel that someone is thinking about coming back to you. They're thinking about coming back to someone that they have children with. That could be at a distance. There's addictions here. There's definitely red flags. But yeah, I do see a separation of a couple here. Because maybe someone is in love with someone else and they feel like the other person could be the one for them. Okay. Damn, this is so confusing. So yeah, I see someone is leaving a marriage, possibly. For someone else, to, uh, someone else is coming in, possibly, yeah. Someone's leaving a family situation. And someone's worried about whether or not they're making the right decision. To betray the one that they love. Okay. Yeah, someone's leaving. So 
you're saying this isn't going to work out. Okay, so I do see a message. Okay, a message from a Sagittarius. There's temperance again. So someone here is going to have to decide. I see a decision here being made relatively soon, Aquarius, about how this is going to play out. Okay, because someone here wants to heal family issues. Someone that they have children with because they have romantic feelings for someone else possibly. Yeah, passion and reckon passion and chemistry that they may have with someone else. And then I'm saying a reconciliation. So for some of you, this this whole background story may have already played out. Maybe the two of you are reconciling or you did reconcile. But for others of you, if that's not the case, I see the person that you're with is leaving to have a brand new start elsewhere. Okay. Because they're saying, this is either you or them saying you deserve love and that it's time to put yourself first. I don't know. This was really all over the place. So I hope that this made sense. All right. I don't know, but then I'm looking over here. I'm seeing positive news, positive outcome. Especially with a court situation, someone is definitely breaking free from a negative attachment. That could be the third party. I don't know. Letting go. So I just see two storylines here. I'm saying someone is going to get freedom and, and clarity about something and let go of some type of restriction or fear. And I'm saying, Aquarius, there is a need for balance in your life. It's telling me harmony through balance. So, yes, I feel like this is my body and spirit. This is about nurturing yourself and doing what's best for you. But I see the start of something new. Absolutely. This could be the start of a new job, a start of a new relationship. This could be the two of you guys starting over. Or, like I said, your partner may be leaving to start over elsewhere with someone else. It just depends. It's not going to be the same storyline for everyone. But I see healing. I even see fertility. So there could be a possibility that someone here could be pregnant. Um, I'm, I'm seeing Aquarius or Pisces. I see Virgo. And I see Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Spirit is saying stay focused on a dream. I'm seeing some type of achievement here that you may be getting some type of public recognition for. And yeah, I actually do see romance and travel. Some of you are feeling lost and confused and lonely. Or this is how your cross-watcher is feeling. Let's see. Let's see the potential outcome to the situation so that it makes more sense to me. Holy Spirit, what is the potential outcome for Aquarius? Letting go of control issues. And allow the situation to play out naturally. I'm seeing attachment. Negative attachment. Know how that got in there but the possible outcome is communicating getting back to a place of pay playfulness yeah i feel like for some of you because we're talking about this is someone that you've known before i feel like maybe for some of you the trust is restored and the two of you may have the ability to make it back to a stronger place of commitment maybe this is someone that you have children with possibly let me see again. Let me try a different deck. Holy Spirit, the possible outcome here for Aquarius couples. The possible outcome, Holy Spirit, for Aquarius couples. A new romantic cycle begins. And for some of you, nothing will come of this situation. It's done. Okay, but with regard to your career, I'm seeing confidence is the key to your success. I see a Taurus here. I see prosperity coming in for you. And I see Scorpio. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Some of you are not feeling good enough. And Spirit is saying work through your fears. And I feel like this has something to do with your career path. But yeah, I'm seeing two different storylines. For some of you, nothing is going to come of this situation. It's done. It's over. Someone's leaving. And I feel like, Aqua, you may be over it also. For others of you, you go through the whole process and this begins again. It's just going to depend, Aqua. 
So let's take a look at the advice. Holy Spirit, please, the advice for the Aquarius couples. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Aquarius, this came right out. Surrender resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. Aqua. Spirit is encouraging you to let go of these resentments here. So this may have had something to do with the past and surrender your fear of change. And it says the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. So this is what I see for you guys, Aqua. Let go of this fear of change. Let go of these resentments. And there may be a need for you to communicate. And this could be what the universe is wanting to communicate with you. Or a deceased loved one could be trying to communicate with you. Okay. Definitely there's a message coming in. So that's what I see for you guys, Aquas. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, I'd like to invite you out to my meet and greet on September 21st, RSVP on my website, um, and email me for more details possibly. But the uh, location will be announced as the date approaches. And um, yeah, take good care. And yes, the sale is still ongoing for those of you who are interested. $50 for a 30-minute live phone reading session. Um, go ahead and book on my website. The link is below. Take good care, Aquas. I will see you again in another video. Until then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.